Hey, Tom here from tkpt.co.uk. Right, what I'm just going to do in this video really quickly um, is something that people might think is a little bit sort of petty. Um, but what I want to do is just sort of outline. I've, I hear a few people sort of say, um, oh, we're coming to class or what time is class, etc. Okay, And um, it sort of it grates on me a little bit. <laughs> it's like it's like a difference. This won't mean anything to anybody else, but say, for example, someone is involved in the fitness industry, like a personal trainer, for example, um, the difference between a personal trainer and a gym instructor um, is quite a big one. Like, to someone that's not involved in this line of work, it might not mean any difference. Some people say, oh, yeah, my fitness instructor, my gym, uh, my personal trainer, um, as if it's the same thing. But, I mean, to someone that is that is a personal trainer that's involved in this sort of thing, um, I think they would, yeah, they'd sort of, there is a difference between the two. And likewise, in my eyes, with a, um, like a fitness class or an exercise class and um, fitness camp, or like a boot camp, as some people might call it. Um, I don't really like the term boot camp. I think it sounds a bit military, rah, 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 shouting. But certainly, um, I don't like to think of things as an exercise class. And here's why. Um, first of all, an exercise class, in my eyes, is over when it's over. So you go to the class, you might know a few people's names, and then you, you do your thing, and then it's gone. You say goodbye, and that's it. With a fitness camp, um, you're held accountable. So um, there's constant support. Um, you have to send your measurements in every week. So we're always in contact with each other. Um, there's Facebook groups. Everybody knows each other's names. There's a community. And um, I'm always in sort of contact in the, with individuals. So there's always that constant contact and support. And um, yeah, like I say, the accountability side of things as well. So tracking your progress. I personally track your progress and I make sure that it's good. So I really, yeah, I don't think you get out with a fitness, well, you don't get out with a fitness class at all. Um, the second thing is, <clears throat> obviously, with fitness camp, we, we cover nutrition in depth as well. So we make sure you're eating all the right things. Again, with the support, if there's any sort of questions regarding food or anything like that, then um, I'm here and I, I know quite a bit about nutrition. And so we sort of, um, we, well, I know what works. So we, we talk about food together and we give you food ideas. We do food diaries if necessary and we sort of cover everything within the food side of things as well. Again, which you don't get at a exercise class. Um, number three is that exercise classes generally, they're just the class. That's how it's set out and that's what's done. With fitness camp, we have progressions and regressions for everybody. So if it's too hard, for individuals, we make certain exercises easier. If certain exercises are too easy, we make them more difficult. And also, as the weeks go on, the difficulty the, uh, progresses. The fitness camp, as, as the four weeks go on, obviously we run four weeks at the start. It's fairly basic exercises for the for the new people. Um, and there's always progressions for the more advanced to do as well. So it's never too easy for anyone. And then obviously, as we go along, things get more difficult. So yeah, it gets harder as you go as well. Um, also, the, um, yeah, like I said, the classes aren't the same. They're never the same. Everything's changed. It's, it's always varied and, it, and it's always progressing. So lots of different ways of doing things. Um, I'm not now as well, actually, the sort of the structure and the design of the, of the programs is by myself. And um, I'm sort of a qualified personal trainer, quite experienced. I've been doing it for quite a while. And I sort of, um, yeah, I know what I'm doing in terms of the exercise, likewise with nutrition. And so in sort of, it's, it's expertly designed and <clears throat> followed up. And I'm not actually doing the class when I'm there. I'm not sort of participating. I'm sort of going around, eyeing people's technique, making sure everyone's doing it right. Obviously motivating while we're there as well, but I'm sort of um, making sure that everyone's doing things the right way and that technique is good. So really minimal chance of injury and sort of getting maximum results from, from what they do. Okay, so like I say, some people might see it as a little bit petty, but again, for me, it's the difference between like a personal trainer and a fitness instructor or an exercise class or a sort of fitness camp. To me, there is a difference. So, I mean, that's all I've got to say on that. I know it's not a really big deal, but it's just something that I think about. So yeah, in my eyes, that's the difference between a fitness camp and a exercise class. Generally exercise class is sort of in the gym, in the gym based. Um, fitness instructor is sort of 
d- does it on gym hours, goes in, does his thing, her thing, and then and then comes out. With the fitness camp, obviously, um, it's, it's my um, sort of business. I, I look after it. I um, I'm like I say, individual contact with everybody, and it's um, it's my baby. So I look after that. Right. Thanks a lot. Tom out.